Thank you so much for staying with us, everyone. Wherever you may be, get a seat. It's going to get interesting right now on the program. Well, you know, there is nothing that is ever exactly the way it is with politicians in Nigeria. Believe me, nothing is ever constant with them. Okay, let's get to the point now. The McAfee group, after the appeal court judgment, say they will pursue the case to the very end. That is uh, to the Supreme Court, the highest court in the land. And at that meeting held at Ekiti State Lodge in Abuja, here is what the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum, Mr. Adelifa, she said. Let me remind you quickly. No to Shari. Yes. It is no to Shari. We want to say whether the Supreme Court too will not be supreme enough to dispense of this yes. matter ASAP. <laughs> That is Mr. Yodele Fayoshe. On Monday, isn't it? You remember when that meeting could not hold at uh, the International Conference Center, should I say, last week? Okay, now, yesterday, and if you look at what happened, that is very clear, isn't it, that uh, they will pursue the case up to the Supreme Court. But when they met the former President Gulag, Jonathan, the stand is perhaps changing now, or is it me that is mistaking the body language? And in fact, in the real language, where, uh, well, here, Governor Ayodele Fawashi, again, yesterday after they met former President Gulag Jonathan, and this is what they came out with after their meeting with him. We know there are so many matters before the courts, but we believe that a political solution will go a long way to solve this matter. And if we believe in this party, we will all be willing and be ready to pursue a political solution, which, at the end of the day, every interest will be, will be well represented. Okay, political solution. Maybe we are on the same plate now, I guess, I guess because now uh, it was first uh, the pursuit of this case to the very end to the Supreme Court. Now a consideration of a political solution to the matter. Those two don't sound similar in any sense, but I think it is a way forward for the PDP, isn't it? When there is a political solution and there is reconciliation, there is a way forward. All of us have been clamoring for a viral opposition in the land. That's one way. When the ruling party cannot have an easy way in whatever they are doing, we must keep uh, tabs on whatever they are doing. But Senator Sheriff says he does not want to really continue as chairman, but he plans to conduct a national convention. Will the Senator McCarthy side still be pursuing the case at the Supreme Court or the consideration? And the newly found language or the political language for the PDP Governors Forum, headed by Mr. Adele Fauci. Now, the political solution is going to be the order of the day. Well, that's uh, now going to be a game of uh, watch and wait. Now to our major story of the day. After so many weeks of reactions back and forth on reasons why Justice Water and Organ should be confirmed, when it looked like the president was never going to forward his name to the National Assembly and the public outcry was up to the high heavens, at last the Senate has confirmed the nomination of Justice Walter Onagen as the Chief Justice of Nigeria. The confirmation came after the Senate screened him for over one hour, during which the federal lawmakers questioned Justice Walter Onagen on issues of the independence of the judiciary, judicial reforms, Corruption in the judiciary as well as disobedience of court orders. Speaking after his confirmation, the Senate President Bukola Sarake spread readiness of the legislature to work with the judiciary in the interest of Nigerians. Will the Senate confirm the, the appointment of Honorable Justice Walter Onoge for appointment of Chief Justice of Nigeria? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. The nomination of Honorable Justice Walter Onoge is hereby confirmed as Chief Justice of Nigeria. We've had a real occasion today to hear from him on his views, on his vision of the judiciary, and I think he appreciates more than anybody else the responsibilities and the challenge that he has ahead in addressing the integrity, restoring the integrity and confidence in the Nigerian 
people of, of the judiciary. We hope on behalf of his colleagues that they will continue to ensure that the judiciary is the last source of the common man and also gives the opportunity also to continue close relationship with the three arms of government. We look forward to a productive relationship with the, with the legislative arm of government for the interests of our great country. Senator Bukola Saraki, one of the statements that was uh, outstanding in what Justice Onorgan says is that judiciary is not the last hope of the common man, but of every man. Interesting. Let's get perspectives on these issues raised in the wake of Justice Onorgan's confirmation. Joining me from our Abuja studio is uh, Vice West Ida, also a former member of the House of Representatives and a lawyer. And also here in our Lagos studio is uh, Vice Okechiku Ikeji. Many thanks for coming on the program. You, Should I start here or let me start uh, in Abuja? Okay, uh, let's start here in Lagos. Yes. First and foremost, the kind of outcry, the kind of controversies that trailed the confirmation, the, uh, the, the, uh, the transmission of his name to the National Assembly. Uh, what kind of atmosphere did he create in the Nigerian judiciary? You work there every day. Yes, it created a sense of, um, if, I liked, if you like, insecurity, uncertainty, and um, um, a feeling of um, some kind of um, sword hanging on the, on the head of the judiciary, ready to strike at any point in time. And so um, it's quite um, heartening, quite um, elating that um, the Senate has confirmed the Honorable Chief Justice as the substantive Chief Justice. It has gone, it is going, it is going to go a long way in assuaging the concerns of some of us in the legal profession and uh, the, the, the judiciary as well <laughs> of an attempt to, um, if you like, subjugate or an attempt, if you like, to, to erode the independence of the judiciary. What, could, what do you think could have caused the delay in the transmitting of his name in the first place, considering that the acting president himself is a professor of law, is yes. uh, a master of uh, 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 evidence uh, uh, in yes, law? Yes, so, he's, uh, a, he's, a, he's a great professional. Yeah, so one will wonder, he knows a lot of uh, this. Yes. There, might, there should be something, or there must be something that has caused that delay. Do you well, have... well, um, it is uh, widely said in law that there is no act to find the construction of a man's mind on his face, except by what he does. Um, and drawing from that, there is no way we can decipher what would be in the mind of the President of the Federation in delaying the um, sending of the name of the Chief of um, Justice Onoge to the Senate. We can only um, um, react or um, decipher from his actions, and his actions have shown that he didn't want to. Hmm. He didn't want to. So it might just be politics. There's a, 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 a politics, lot of uh, yes. tribal uh, differences, mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. ethnic, it, religious it, it, it were drawn. Raise, yes, it can raise such okay. um, 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 sentiments. It's natural if it raises such sentiments. Because okay. if you look at the dynamics, mm -hmm. there has not been a southern chief justice for a long time. Yes. And almost, coming from the south south. Almost 30 years ago. Uh, yes, and coming from the south south, having its turn now. Mm. Uh, that cannot be um, um, thrown overboard Let, let's bring like a that. former lawmaker now into this matter it was in the hollow chamber today when uh, it was confirmed and if you look at the statement of, from justice on again he says the judiciary is not the last hope of uh, of the common man but of every man not of the poor man but every man that kind of body language or statement coming from the man who is going to be the most senior uh, or the highest seat in the judiciary in Nigeria. What does that, uh, what, what statement does he make, uh, Honorable Idahusa? Well, well, I think it's a statement of truism. Um, if you look at it, whether the high, the mighty, the low, uh, we, we all have to run to the judiciary uh, as the intervener uh, and defender uh, of the rights of all of us. So uh, governorship petitions are decided there. Even the presidential contest in the event that it results in an election petition will be decided there. So uh, those who have been accused of flouting the laws will also face the judiciary. And uh, I believe that that statement was very correct. It defined correctly uh, the role of the judiciary uh, in Nigeria. And I'm very proud that uh, in the few weeks that Justin Norge has acted as uh, 
acting chief justice of Nigeria, we have seen some momentum and reorganization in, in the judiciary. We hope that uh, if it continues like this, then the question of congestion in courts and delay in Nigerian courts may be addressed frontally. Okay, uh, because uh, we need to take a moment now. But when we return, more on justice on again. This man, the issue of corruption in the judiciary. But when we return also, issues of rule of law in Nigeria. What now looks like an unending intentions in the land. We take a look at what the issue of uh, Unamde Kano and the concerns of some eminent Nigerians. That's part of the show tonight. Join us again.